Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and today I'm doing a solo episode. And today's topic is I love garbage. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what are you talking about, Jack? Nobody loves garbage. But recently, I'm really into recycling and upcycling and reusing objects that people don't want anymore and fixing them and using them myself and fixing items, selling them um, to make a little bit of profit or, you know, um, giving items that I can't use anymore to friends or family that might, you know, people that might want those items. So let me explain a little bit more of what I mean by I love garbage. It started about a year ago. I I wanted to get into exercise and I used to exercise regularly, but during COVID, uh, coronavirus, during that time, I I stopped going to the gym. I stopped exercising. Um, I started eating um, unhealthy food, and I started to gain weight. And I've never really been able to go back to how I was before COVID, before that time started. And so I was in my neighborhood, and I saw an exercise bicycle in the garbage, um, not not in a garbage can, but you know, in the uh, ready for the recyclers to take it and take it away. And I thought to myself, I think this is a a pretty nice exercise bike. Um, this is not a, a a regular bicycle. This is an exercise bicycle, so a stationary bike. Stationary means it doesn't move. When you pedal, it just stays in the same place. And lots of people have these in their houses. And I noticed that there was one problem with this stationary bike. The handlebars kept, the handlebars are the, the things you hold on to while you're pedaling. And they kept, they were loose. They kept falling forward. And I thought to myself, I think I can fix this. And so I brought it home, I took out my tools, and long story short, I fixed it. And now it's a perfectly good exercise bicycle. And I got it for free. You know, usually you have to pay a hundred dollars or hundreds of dollars for these kinds of exercise machines. However, I got mine for free. And so I have an, an extra room uh, in in our building. There's a an extra room that we have my wife and I have turned into a kind of a gym, uh, a home exercise center. And so I put the bicycle in there. And a couple, about a week later, I saw a bench, an exercise bench where you can do uh, sit-ups. And a sit-up is where you you go back, you're on your back, and then you lift up and you use your stomach muscles, your abdominal muscles to pull yourself up. And it was perfectly good, except it was missing one screw. I went to the hardware store. I bought a screw for $1 and I fixed that. And I put that in my exercise room. And then I found another piece of exercise equipment, perfectly fine. Someone was throwing it away because they were they were moving out of their apartment. And I live in a neighborhood with a lot of apartments, a lot of small apartments. So when people don't want items, they just throw them away instead of because they don't even want to take the time to give them away or to sell them. They just throw them away. So I took it. I took it home. And I, I've now got this like little gym kind of set up and um, uh, my wife uh, there's a, a website in Korea where people um, give away items that they don't want 
and someone was giving away a running machine. So we drove over to their apartment. We put the running machine in our car, in our truck, um, brought it back, put it in the exercise room. So now the gym has a running machine, an exercise bike, a sit-up bench, um, some weights, and things like that. So it kind of started with like, and I started to see that like in Korea, I think it's because people live in apartments. They just don't often take the time to even sell things. They just, they just throw them away. And the other day I was walking along the street and I saw a guitar. So in a case, someone had just put a guitar in the garbage and I, I went and opened it up and it was a perfectly good guitar and I threw it in my truck and I brought it home and I looked at it. I didn't have to do any fixing of the guitar. It was perfectly good. And so I have an extra guitar because I kind of collect guitars. I'm a guitar player and I love that hobby. And so um, I, I brought it home and um I just now I'm kind of in the mindset of like, why buy something new when people are giving away or throwing away old things that are still could be good for, for me. So we have an expression in English, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And for me, it's more of an environmental Re there, it's more environmental for me, to be honest, because a lot of these things, they just end up being thrown into a hole in the ground, like that exercise bike. Just the handlebars are were broken and they could be fixed, but no one is going to fix those. They're going to, the, the garbage men are going to take that. They're going to throw that thing in the ocean or in a big hole in the ground, and it's going to stay there for a thousand years. And what is the purpose of making new things and buying new things when we have older things that can just be fixed and used and they're perfectly fine and they don't end up in a hole in the ground, you know, polluting our, our land or floating in the ocean, polluting our oceans. I just really don't understand. So I'm very much in the mindset of like not buying anything if I need something, I try to find it online for free, or I look around my neighborhood, or and I fix something up and, and use it. It might not be, you know, my bicycle is not beautiful. It's not the most beautiful stationary bike. Um, it's not going to win a beauty contest, but it works perfectly fine. It's great for exercising. Um, the guitar, yeah, it's not a... Uh, a Les Paul or a Gibson, but it's a, it's a perfectly fine guitar. And I'm not, I'm a terrible guitar player, to be honest. Um, so for me, I don't need anything fancy or super expensive when it comes to those kinds of items. I can just enjoy having different guitars that make, that have different sounds and enjoy those things. And so I guess what I'm saying is, um, going back to the beginning of my talk today is that when I say I love garbage, I love taking objects that are going to end up in a hole in the ground or in the ocean. And I like fixing them and using them. And it's deeply satisfying. It's more satisfying than like buying the item and bringing it home. I find I get more joy out of finding something. I did, it doesn't cost me any money. It costs me a little bit of time and a little bit of energy, but it, you know, it, it saves money and, and it's, and it's, they're all things that are, that are making my life better. They're making me healthier. The exercise bike is going to actually make me healthier, live longer. The guitar is going to give me joy because I, I get joy from playing the guitar and making music. And so I just really um, want to encourage you listeners out there to love garbage like me and see if it doesn't make you feel even more satisfied when you 
find some object that you're able to repurpose and reuse instead of buying it new. All right, so that's my talk today. Jack loves garbage. Please, uh, if you talk to Sochal, explain what the meaning is because she's probably going to be surprised when she sees the title of this episode, I Love Garbage. Um, if you want to leave a message for us, go to send us an email, a to z English podcast at gmail.com. Uh, you can also go to our website, a to z English podcast.com, and you can leave a comment on the website. You can join our WhatsApp group or our WeChat group, and you can leave a comment there. We, I'd love to see you in the A to Z English WhatsApp group or WeChat group. And with that said, I will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.